Ulistik, the legendary Swiss mountaineer who achieved what seemed impossible. Coming from a small town in Langnau in Emmental, Switzerland, this extraordinary person embarked on a journey that left the world in awe. But what made Ulistik different? What motivated him to conquer the seemingly unreachable heights? From a young age, Ulistik's exceptional talent and strong determination made him stand out, allowing him to keep up with experienced professionals on dangerous mountainsides. His extraordinary skills earned him the respected title of the Swiss Machine, a name that was well known in the mountaineering community. At the age of 18, Ulistik achieved his first major success by conquering the challenging north face of the Eiger in 1994. This groundbreaking achievement was just a glimpse of the thrilling adventures that lay ahead. Fearlessly, he took on the daunting Benati Pillar in the Alps, leaving no doubt that he was meant for greatness. Each climb further solidified his reputation as a legendary mountaineer, pushing the boundaries of what was believed to be possible. In 2004, Ulistik amazed everyone by climbing the mighty Eiger in just 25 hours. This incredible feat made him famous and respected in the climbing world. Ulistik didn't let anything stop him and decided to take on the majestic Himalayan peaks, prepared to face their tough obstacles. In 2005, Ulistik achieved two amazing things that had never been done before. He was the first person to climb the north face of Chios all by himself, and he fearlessly conquered the challenging east face of Tabuchir. These incredible accomplishments made him a pioneer in mountaineering. In 2007, Climb Magazine recognized Ulistik as one of the top three mountaineers in Europe, a well-deserved honor for his unwavering commitment to being excellent. Not discouraged by any setbacks, Ulistik went back to the north face of the Eiger and broke the world record with a climb that took only three hours and 54 minutes. This amazing achievement secured his place in mountaineering history and had a big impact on the sport. Drawn back to the Himalayas, where he had achieved so much and where his dreams began, Ulistik decided to climb the challenging south face of Annapurna all by himself. Sadly, something terrible happened during the climb. A dangerous rockfall caused severe injuries to Ulistik. Despite the seriousness of his wounds, he didn't give up. Determined to conquer the tough peak that had eluded him, Ulistik decided to try again the next season. When the new year came, Ulistik focused once more on climbing the north face of the Eiger. He surpassed his own previous record and finished the climb in an astonishing 2 hours and 47 minutes. However, fate had different plans for his solo climb of Annapurna. Ulistik started having doubts and worried about the risks of avalanches. Eventually, he made the difficult decision to cancel his attempt to reach the summit. Ulistik's commitment to helping others was truly remarkable. He fearlessly volunteered to rescue stranded Spanish climbers, showing his bravery and dedication to the well-being of fellow climbers. This act made him stand out as an exceptional person. Then, in 2013, after years of careful preparation and unwavering dedication, Ulistik achieved something incredible. He took on the dangerous climb up Annapurna's treacherous route, defying the odds and reaching the summit in an amazing 28 hours. The mountaineering world was in awe considering it was one of the most extraordinary feats in history. Ulistik had become one of the greatest climbers ever, leaving a lasting impact on the mountains he was passionate about conquering. Experience the ups and downs of Ulistik's remarkable career, where triumphs and challenges were intertwined with personal commitments and painful losses. After his daring climb, Ulistik's wife Nicole expressed genuine concern and asked him to be more cautious with his solo climbs. In response, Ulistik made a solemn promise to reduce his future solo adventures, understanding the weight of his loved one's worries. Throughout his impressive career, Ulistik received numerous awards, including the prestigious PLA Dior in 2009 and 2014. He continually broke the record for the fastest ascent of the Igor not once, not twice, but three times. These achievements showed his relentless pursuit of excellence and his unwavering determination to surpass his own limits. Yet, Ulistik's desire for adventure could not be contained. In 2015, he took on a groundbreaking challenge in the Alps, aiming to conquer all 82 peaks over 4,000 meters in an astonishing 62 days, without using any motorized transportation. During that same year, Ulistik broke his own record for the fastest climb up the challenging north face of the Eiger. He conquered the legendary ascent in an astonishingly quick time of 2 hours and 22 minutes. The mountain couldn't help but be impressed by his unstoppable determination, and the mountaineering community was in awe of his unmatched skills. In 2016, Ulistik and his trusted climbing partner David Gottler got out on a daring adventure to summit Shishapangma. Their goal was to achieve a ski descent, 
a feat that had never been tried before. As they climbed the dangerous slopes of the mountain, they faced numerous obstacles that tested their bravery and resolve. But fate had a tragic twist waiting for them. During their climb, Ulistik and Godler came across the lifeless body of renowned mountaineer Alex Lowe. The sight of their fallen friend filled them with shock and deep sadness. Lowe had been an inspiration to many in the climbing community, and his untimely death served as a stark reminder of the dangers they faced on their chosen path. Amidst their grief, Ulistik and Gottler took a moment to honor their fallen friend and consider the challenges that lay ahead. The weight of the loss affected them deeply, but their strong determination and high spirit motivated them to continue on their daring journey, unstoppable by their emotions. Now, the Ulistik was once again in the majestic Himalayas. This time, his goal surpasses all previous achievements, conquering the mighty Mount Everest without using extra oxygen. With his trusted climbing partner Tenji Sherpa by his side, Ulistik planned every part of their ascent, leaving no room for mistakes in the face of the harsh and unforgiving conditions they would face. On April 29, 2017, Ulistik reached their campsite, ready to make the final push to reach the summit. Being cautious, he sent a message to Tenji, letting him know his plan to acclimatize by climbing a nearby peak called Dui. Tenji waited anxiously for a response, wondering if Ulistik would go alone or with other climbers. Unfortunately, the evening passed without a reply from Ulistik. As the morning sun rose and lit up the beautiful Himalayan landscape, a watchful Nepalese guide spotted Ulistik at around 23,000 feet. However, shortly after, a loud noise startled everyone in the area. Concerned, the guide turned back and saw something troubling, that Ulistik was no longer visible on the mountainside. Filled with worry, the guide and another experienced mountaineer cautiously approached the spot where Ulistik had last been seen. Sadly, their worst fears were confirmed when they discovered Ulistik's lifeless body, lying a thousand meters below where he was last spotted. After carefully looking at the place where the accident happened, the experienced people there quickly realized something important. Ulistik went on his last climb without the necessary safety equipment like a helmet, harness, gloves, or even trekking poles that could have saved his life. These things are really important for climbers because they help protect them from the dangers of climbing. The news of Ulistik's death deeply affected the climbing community, and it made everyone who admired his bravery and impressive achievements very sad. To honor his memory, a special ceremony was held in the city of Kathmandu, where climbers from all over the world came together. Following Buddhist customs, the ceremony was led by respected monks who wore beautiful robes, they guided the people in prayers to show their respect. The peaceful atmosphere was filled with beautiful music that brought comfort and a feeling of peace to everyone who was grieving. The ceremony took place at the Tinga Bosch Monastery, which is located near the busy city of Kathmandu. The majestic Himalayan mountains, including Mount Everest, stood proudly in the background, reminding everyone of the great heights Ulistik had reached and the lasting impact he had made. Ulistik's ashes were lovingly brought back to his homeland of Switzerland, funeral was held in early May 2017, allowing his beloved wife Nicole and close family members to bid their final farewells. It was a deeply emotional moment as they gathered to honor Ulistik's life and legacy. On May 23rd, a commemorative event provided a meaningful platform for the public, media, and fellow mountaineering enthusiasts to come together and pay tribute to Ulistik's extraordinary life. The Congress Center Kursaal in Interlaken was a fitting venue where stories of bravery, inspiration, and adventure resounded through the halls. In the nearby community of Grindelwald, discussions emerged about honoring Ulistik by dedicating a part of the iconic Eiger, a famous peak, in his name, an enduring testament to the impact he had on the hearts and minds of those who followed his journey. Ulistik's legacy will forever be engraved in the history of mountaineering. He will be remembered as a legendary figure, celebrated for his exceptional talent, awe-inspiring achievements, tragic circumstances that befell him. His life serves as a constant reminder of the immense power and unpredictability of nature's majestic mountains, a reminder to approach their grandeur with utmost respect and humility.